Hey, hey, hey everyone, it's Monday, it's live in the hive time. How are you guys doing tonight? Hey, 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 say hello as you come in. We are making a scarecrow wreath tonight with this awesome scarecrow attachment. Don't you love it? I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So how are you guys all doing? Say hi as you come in so I know who's here. Get these all untwisted here. So what's new guys? What's new, what's new, what's new? Hey Cheryl, how are ya? Alrighty, got that one undone. Hey Nicole, how are you? Hey Benisa, Melanie, Patricia, how's it going guys? Okay, get this untwisted. I think, maybe, I don't know. Hey girl! Alright, so, I just love this. Alright, so this is the attachment. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So, whew, it has been one of those days again. But that's my Mondays. Hey, Diane. So, um, okay, I have my typical wreath frame. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Diane. Hey, Lucy. Um, my typical wreath frame. We are going to be using this mesh that has like the little frayed edges. And I got that at um, Craft Outlet. So um, that's what we're going to use. And we're going to be doing the ruffle method. Hey, Teresa. So I cut these about 20. Hey, Lisa. About 23 inches. And we're just going to ruffle up the center. I love this to make fall wreaths with. Hey, Regina, how are you? I just love the look of it. It's just super cool. So, this is what we're going to use. Hey, Cindy, thank you for sharing. And then it'll kind of look like a scarecrow. So, how's everybody doing? What did you guys do this weekend? Anything fun? You just spread it out. Don't you love that? I just love that mesh. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes, please, please, please. Share. Hey, Grace. Hey, Teresa Davis. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for watching. So, I know. Don't you love it? I love this mesh. Have you? Have any of you guys ever used this mesh before? Hey, Mary Ellen. I just love this mesh. I really do. I just think it is so cute. And it does come in um, 10 inch and 21 inch. And the 10 inch, the Brickyard 400 race. That sounds like fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. And it kind of frays, which kind of, you know, fits with the Scarecrow theme here. So... No, you've never used it? I love this mesh. Like I said, it comes in 10 inch. Well, it's not mesh. It's actually like a burlap. Um, but it comes in 10 inch and the um, 21 inch. And it does fray, but that's the beauty of it, right? Because, you know, you kind of use it for this time of the year. So, looks like a scarecrow. Yeah, you have to try it, Brenda. It's really cool. Thanks, Lisa. So if you don't already like my page and follow me, please do so. I also have a YouTube channel. I go live on YouTube on Thursday evenings. Yes, please, please, please share the love. Share the love. And, oh, guys, okay. Are any of my followers near Nashville or have been to Nashville so my husband's going to thank you Lucy to Nashville tomorrow and I get to go with him I'm so excited I'm so excited I've never been I've always wanted to go 
So if any of you guys have been or live near there, um, I need you guys to tell me what I should do. Like what are the things that I absolutely have to do or have to see or something, right? Because I've never been, I really can't wait, and um, I'm just really looking forward to it. We're just going, like he's going to be in meetings all day. It's a fun place. He's going to be in meetings, so I have all day to myself. <gasps> Your brother lives an hour away, Lisa! Oh my word. That is cool. The Grand Old Opry. Yeah, I definitely want to try to get there. You're two and a half hours. Oh, I can't. I'm really, like, I'm so excited. Like, I haven't even had time. Hey, Debbie, to really, like, research what, like, I should go see. I mean, I know the Grand Old Opry for sure. Um, but I'm like, what, what are some places that, like, maybe no one knows about or something like that that I should go try to get to or just something fun or even like any wreath supply places anybody know of any places like that Lisa <laughs> your brother lives there does he know any places like that he probably doesn't but you might but I am super excited because I've never been and I really wanted to go and so my husband was going and he's like do you want to come along so our hotel's paid for the only thing I have to pay for is my flight and um my food mom now. I'm like, hey, there's a candy store on Main Street. Oh, that sounds good. Hey, Stephen, how are you? How you been, buddy? I got this at Craft Outlet. Isn't it fun? It's like perfect for a scarecrow. So that's what I'm making. So that's the top row or the inner row. So now we're going to do the, boy, that one wasn't cut very straight. One thing with this, you do kind of want to keep it straight when you cut. Like there's there's lines that run through there, and I really try to cut right on in between those two lines um, so that it doesn't fray even more. Go to the... Uh-oh, Beverly, you got cut off or something. So, Stephen, I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? So now we're on the bottom row. Hope you're feeling okay. Uh, guys, if you think about it, pray for my friend Kathy. She fell and broke her arm. Hey, Lori. Um, so pray for her. She has to have surgery on Wednesday morning. So, and you know, at our age, any little thing. So please pray for her. Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. Okay. Like, I think we're staying in downtown Nashville. I don't remember. I looked up the hotel um, when he first told me about it a couple weeks ago. Um, but I really I have not had time to really look into it. The Ryman Auditorium. Hey, Georgia. Or Georgie, sorry. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Debbie. I know, poor Kathy. She was in a lot of pain over the weekend, too. And you know how that is nowadays. Waiting on the need to... Oh, no, Stephen. You've been through the ringer, too, buddy. Yeah, she was really hurting over the weekend, so... Centennial Park. Okay. I know, I can't... I really can't wait. So, I'll have, like, all day Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm doing good, Shirley. How are you? Yeah, so I'll have all Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to just kind of explore and do whatever and have fun so it should be a good time hey Sonia how are ya but yeah I'm looking forward to it oh no I know she was she was really she was really hurting so I felt bad and then like you know nowadays like you back in the day they you, when you broke it they used to just you know set it right away but now, they make you wait a couple days till the swelling goes down, and then, you know, have to have surgery and all this mess, so she was in a lot of pain over the weekend. Fell Mead Wine Tour. I'm not a wine drinker. I'm not a drinker, period, but. A burger at Wahlburgers? Is there one downtown? I wanted to go to Wahlburgers. Is there one downtown Nashville? 
Hey, Mary. Oh, good. The No Bake Cookie Dough Shop. Oh, see, I don't know if I can eat it because I have celiac. I wonder if they have gluten free no bake. Must be the week for broken bones, a good friend of mine. Oh no! Oh, I know, right? It's so painful. The Parthenon, okay. Yeah, it's so painful. Music Row. Yeah, like I said, I think we're staying right in the heart of Nashville, so I kind of want to find some fun stuff to do. So I have a couple days that, you know, I have to go out to dinner one night with my husband and um, somebody, one of his customers. I think that's Wednesday night, but other than that, I'm on my own Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so... And I don't mind that. I, I don't mind, like, just going and exploring and having fun and that kind of stuff, so. Take the Old Town Tour. It's great. Oh, okay. Has anyone ever done one of those Segway tours? I've always wanted to do those, although I'd probably fall on my face and break an arm or something, you know. The Old Town seg the Tour. Okay. See how full this is coming out? Don't you love it? Love it, love it, love it. Whoops, can I not cut it? One, two. I don't think I cut enough. Oh, good night, Irene. It is Dollywood. Okay, I don't think I cut enough. Huh. I'm telling you, I've been so busy, I just totally did not even cut enough. So hopefully I have enough of this. Dollywood. Ugh. I know, I'm really looking forward to it. I am just so excited. I've always wanted I've always wanted to go. I don't think I'm gonna have a car, so I'm gonna have to like walk or take a cab or wherever um you know, wherever I'm gonna get to, so I think I only cut twelve of these. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Hopefully, I will have enough. Yeah, this is, it's a burlap, um, and it's a, um, I'll show you the, I'll show you the package. It's a, a frayed edge burlap, and they have it in um, 10 inches and the 21 inches. The Old Town Trail, oh, okay, okay. Dollywood is in Pigeon Ford. How far away is that from Nashville? See, I don't know. Like how I like the, like I said, I think I'm gonna be right downtown. So, so one, two, three, four, five. Huh. What I was thinking, the Hermitage. What is the Hermitage? I've never heard of that. Hey, Jonathan, who are you? What you been up to, buddy? Okay, so we have to cut a couple more here because I was brain dead when I was cutting them, apparently. Was not thinking properly. So I need one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, yeah, it's called, this was from Craft Outlet. Let me take this off. I have 18 ties. It's called Frayed Edge Burlap. Can you see that? And I'll, I'll type the um, thing in here. Oh, good! Let's see, hold on. Frayed edge burlap. It's XB97010-15. And I got it from um, Craft Outlet. All right. Yes, I love country music. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, like I said, when you cut this, you kind of... Oh, I hope I have enough peach pieces. But we're going to find out. Okay, I'm just going to cut these 20. All right, so 
you kind of want to really stay in between those um, pieces so that it doesn't um, fray even more. So you really kind of want to take your time when you're cutting this to try to not have it fray too, too much. Oop, and I'm just going to have enough. So I did use more than one roll of this because I cut it um, a little longer. Hello Muriel, how are you from Canada? Whoops, knocked over my stuff. Hey Tanya. Okay, so inside the, okay, all right, I'll have to check this stuff out. Because I want to take advantage while I'm there and see as much as I can. And um, I know, isn't it great, Jonathan? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what the hermitage is. Gotcha. All right, and I love this frayed look, especially, you know, for the um, scarecrow because, you know, it's frayed. Downtown is all country. Okay. Yeah, I love country music, so, um, you know, it'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So hopefully I will get to see a bunch of stuff and go from there. Don't forget to please share the love. Please share this video, please, please, please. Would much appreciate it. So, I do too. Love it, love it, love it, Jonathan. Okay, one more after this. The Tennessee State Capitol. Okay. I know I had a friend that I used to work for. Her husband is a um, songwriter. And I tried to get a hold of her because they moved down to Tennessee. I think they're in Nashville. Kathy! There's Kathy! Kathy, I was just telling, telling them that you fell and broke your arm and that you have to have surgery. How you doing? Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. How are you? No, it just, this just comes in the um, burlap. Yes, I, I'm going to Nashville. So... Oh, I should shoot him a message. Yeah. Nick, have you ever been to Nashville? Okay. So, there is what it looks like. All nice and frayed and everything like that. Okay. So, let me show you. So, this is the attachment that I have. Okay, and then um, this is the ribbons I picked out. All right, so I have, I picked out, oh, I can't wait to go. I'm going to Nashville tomorrow, yes. So I picked out the navy blue to kind of go with his jeans. And then a little scarecrow ribbon here. And then this um, pretty fall color. So, and I did make some of my flowers. You guys know how I love my flowers. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Melody. So, I'm thinking we may use those. So, that's what I've got going on here. Oh, and I also, okay. 
So you guys know how raffia comes. We're flying. We're definitely flying. So one of the tricks with um, raffia, right? Because you know, raffia, it's expensive. It doesn't come in big pieces, blah, 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 blah. So what I do instead of using raffia, I'm going to put my scarecrow ribbon on the top and I cut these to 13 inches, 12 or 13, can't remember. Okay, so I'm going to put the scarecrow ribbon on top because I want that to be my main ribbon. And then, this is a burlap, it's, a, it's called frayed burlap. And I kind of want that to be on top like that. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is, you guys, do you guys know what this is? So instead of using raffia, what I do is I get this from, hey Pam, I get this, um, can you guys see it? It's a luau skirt from the Dollar Tree. So I use this instead of raffia, right? So all I do, and each comes in a bunch of strands on here, I just take the strands off, I undo them, okay, and then I just take it and fold it in half, and in half again, okay? And then I'm going to stick that right on top. Yes! Okay, and then I um, cut the edges to get it all frayed looking. Okay. So then it looks like that. Isn't that cool? Can you guys see that? Look, let me see. There we go. I know, isn't that a great tip? Because, you know, it's better than using the raffia, I think. I like it better. All right, and then we may, see my little things? We may add some of these to a couple places. We're not gonna add a bunch of them, but we may um, add some of them. I know, isn't it great? I saw that at the dollar store, I think it was like two years ago. Yeah, isn't it perfect, Cheryl? Yep. Because you get, there's a ton, com I've had this for two years. Two years, the, the first hula skirt. And I use it all the time. You don't even untie, I probably shouldn't untie it. I should probably just cut it off, but um, that would make more sense than sitting here taking the, tie to untie, taking the time to untie it, right? And what I am doing, I'm kind of keeping the blue on top of that just to kind of set it off a little more. Yeah, so just take a section. That's a good idea, not even untying it. And just cut it off. And then just take it, fold it in half. And fold it in half again. And then I don't cut all the little strings until I get it in there, right? my scissors back and I need them all the time. So that's what I do with the hula skirt. And it just adds that other little dimension on your wreath. Hey Rosalia, how are you? Okay, so that's what we're going to do all the way around. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's great. But I love this um, scarecrow ribbon too. So, so we're just going to put this in um, all of the full twist ties. Because you guys know I don't use my half twist ties. The mesh is called frayed edge burlap 
mesh. I did put a um, I did put a link up there, or not a link, but um, a thing to show you what it was. Yeah, it's called frayed edge burlap mesh. And it comes in 10 inches or 21 inches. So once I get it on there, then I cut all the little edges to make them all frayed. I don't worry about if they're all, you know, the same size or anything. And then I just kind of spread it around. Because, you know, let's face it, Scarecrow are all crazy and full of stuff. And so... So don't forget to share the love, please. The hat and the pants I had got at my wholesaler, I think like two years ago. Yeah, they do have it in green. Um, and they don't sell them anymore. They do not sell them anymore. I have a couple left um, that I've kind of been hoarding. <laughs> Because I love this attachment so much. But I do have a couple of them left. Yeah, they have it in green and in this um, natural. Oh, thanks, Debbie. I appreciate that. And I'm not kind of doing anything with the twist ties right now. Because once we get the attachment on and I see if we're going to do some of our ribbon flowers... Um, you know, we may need those pipe cleaners, so I'm just kind of leaving them on for now and not cutting them or anything. So, but isn't that cute? I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, and don't forget, I still have green and white on looks good. Yes, yep. Um, I still have... Oh, okay. I still have some of my Halloween kit. And a couple of my pumpkin, my grapevine pumpkin guys. So grab those in my Etsy shop. Yes, thank you for sharing, guys. Much appreciated. Casey! What you doing, girl? Okay, so just fold it in half and in half again and then stick it in there. Oh, thank you so much, Regina. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and then I cut those loops to make it all frayed. Okay. Hey, Pat. All right, so it's looking cute. And I love this navy. I love that. Look how perfectly that goes with that ribbon. Hey, Lillian, how are you? So we have one more on the bottom to do. And then we're going to add the attachment and then see if we want to add some of those um, ribbon flowers. Thanks, Casey. I know. Isn't that a great idea? Because, I mean, the raffia, you get so little of it and it costs so much more. So I saw this at the Dollar Tree and I was like, yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that raffia. So again, I just take it and fold it in half, and then in half again, and then stick it in there, okay, and then I cut the loops, 
and then I just kind of spread it out a little bit. Oh yeah, I usually curl them. It just depends. Most of the time I just curl them, but I, I know I may add something else, so I'm not doing that right now because I don't want to cut them or curl them off and then knead them again. So I usually curl them. Okay, so now we're gonna use do the inner row. Yeah, the raffia, I, I got used to get it at the dollar store too, but you, you don't get that much. But this um, hula skirt, you like I said, I've had one hula skirt that I have used for the past two years. And it goes a long way. So that's why I do the hula skirt rather than the raffia. But I just love everything about this wreath. <laughs> I really, really do. I really do. I really do. All right. So I only have a couple more left on this. Then we'll have to open up the second one. Okay. Whoop. Lost that one there. Thanks, Casey. Okay. Okay. All right. I know, isn't it cute? I just love it. I really, really love it. I just love everything about this wreath. <laughs> I just think it's, I love the colors, I love the attachment, I love the mesh, I love the ribbons. I'm a little addicted to this wreath, but. Thanks, Sharon. Thanks, Jonathan. But, oh well. All right. So, yeah, two more left on here, and then we'll have to open the other pack. You know, like I said, I've used this one pack for, this is, I think, my th third year using this pack. And it just goes so much further than the raffia. this scarecrow ribbon at Joann's last year and I just think it's so cute I know right Sharon yeah it does although you know you kind of when you do this kind of stuff you kind of fall in love with every wreath hey Melanie we are making a scarecrow wreath Last one on this hula skirt. Okay. Hey Brenda, how are you? Um, n no, this isn't the pancake wreath, although it is pretty thin, but this isn't, um, I did cut them 20 inches, but, um, I didn't really kind of make it real thin, but I'm sure you can, but it is a pretty thin wreath anyway. Okay, okay, okay. 
And I love this navy ribbon too. Just got that at my wholesalers too. All right, so opening up my other hula skirt. I mean, look at look at this. I mean, look how much comes on there. Now you know why it took me two years to go through all this. See? Like, look at all that. <laughs> That's why I say, you know, this goes so much further than using a um, the raffia because they are so full. Sandy, thank you. Just glad you're here. Okay. Hey, Ricky. All right. Whoop. Missed one there. We have two more to go. I'm telling you, I love that navy ribbon. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and put the attachment on before I decide if we're going to use some of those um, ribbon flowers. So we'll see. We might be done. We might not. I don't know. Um, the mesh is a... Um, it's a frayed burlap mesh, so I did the ruffle method. And it comes like that. It comes frayed. I used all the pieces, I'll right? show you. them all and then I just spread them out. That one cut. Now if this doesn't look like a scarecrow wreath, I don't know what does, right? Hey Sandy. Last one here. And then we're going to add our scarecrow. Yes, it's the frayed edge, um, the frayed edge burlap. I don't know if you guys can see that. I posted it earlier what the number was. It came from Craft Outlet. here. Yeah, it comes in 10 inch and 21 inch, so I just got the 10 inch version. Hey, Kathy, thank you. Oops, all right. Okay, so there is the wreath. What do you think? Doesn't that scream scarecrow to you? Fall, right? Okay, let's get our attachment here. And then I have a pumpkin form too. I love this guy. Okay, so I'm going to put the hat up here. And we're going to tie that on. Go through the mesh if you can. And tie that on there. And there. I know, isn't it great? I just love it. Okay, so. Comes with these twist ties. They're all twisted together here. I know, isn't it? It really is. I love it. Okay. one. 
so there's the hat. I <laughs> love this guy. Love, love, love it. Okay. And then we're going to add to the legs. So, make sure that's straight. And I'm going to again try to go right through the mesh. Gonna find the frame here. <clears throat> Make sure that's good. how that looks. Oh, that one needs to be tighter. That one needs to be tighter. What did you use for mesh? This is a burlap frayed edge mesh. It comes frayed like this. if you can tell. Can you see how the edges are all frayed like that? But that's how it comes. Look at that! Oh, can you see it? Now what I do too is so the hat, the flop, the hat doesn't flop, is I will take some wire And I will go through this part of the hat and then go through this part of the hat and then wire it to the frame because otherwise the hat kind of flops around and then this way it just pulls the hat down and keeps the hat in place. And that way the hat doesn't like flop all over the place. The burlap I cut in um, 20 inch strips. Okay, so now see how the hat doesn't, you know, it won't flap, won't flap around like that now. Okay, so now I made a couple of these and we'll have to see if we um, like it or not. Like I was thinking of maybe putting, let me see what you think, like one on the side of his hat there. Or maybe in the middle. Do you like that in the middle maybe of his hat? And then, you know, maybe just a couple here and there. Or maybe just on the hat. What do you think? I think I'm going to put it on the hat. I like that. I like the way that looks. Let's see get it through there. On the side, I think it looks better on the side. Just the hat? Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Not be using this. 
scissors to do that. But, okay. What do you think? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then what I do is then I'm just going to take the twist ties. Yes, they're made of ribbon. And then just curl them. Although we could put some pumpkins in there. I had this big pumpkin and I was going to add it, but I don't even know that we need it. I was going to add this big pumpkin. Nope, I don't think we need it. So, like I said, I just take them, the twist ties, and I just wrap it around. I know, isn't it cute? Love it. Yeah, I like that one. Yep. And like I said, I'm just taking these um, twist ties and kind of curling them around because you don't want them sticking straight up. And then we will be done. And this will be posted in my Etsy shop tonight. So if anybody's interested and wants it before it goes in my shop, well, let me know. No, I want this. <laughs> just, I don't know what it is about this. I just love it so much. Okay, just keep going around, making sure you got all those. Make sure the ones underneath here. You got that. This one will be 75. I love them. Yeah, this will be 75. And I have a couple more, so if more than one person wants it, um, I can definitely make another one. But isn't he cute? Oh my word, I just love it. Yep, just send me a message if you're interested in it, and I will send you the link to the Scarecrow. And like I said, if more than one person wants it, I do have enough to make um, one or two more. So, Oh, and don't forget, I still have some of my boo kits left. This all is in the boo kit for $50. So I have a couple of these left. So this is chocked full of stuff. Comes with the pick and all that. And then I think I have two or three of these left also. Hey Kayla! So I have two or three um, of these left also. Thanks, Melanie. So I have a couple left in my shop. I know. I love it, Melanie. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So a Dollar Tree pumpkins. I have not been able to find those frames, Tanya. I have not been able to get a hold of the, the Dollar Tree pumpkin frames. I have been looking for them, and I, I, I can't find them yet. I don't have them yet. But if I get a hold of one, you better believe I will be making something. But yeah, I can't find them. All right, guys. I'm going to take all your recommendations. So the next couple of days, I'll be doing some lives from Nashville, Tennessee. So share the love. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys back here next Monday night. And before, I'll be doing lives from face, from uh, Nashville. So, thanks guys. Have a wonderful night. Take care. Bye.